Okay, real quick. Wanted to show you some grubs. Now, we're in South Texas. That's about the size of a June beetle grub, but it could be a rhino beetle in different stage, but just because of its size, it's pretty close to what we would find up in North Texas during the spring. So I'm gonna put those guys back in the ground. I like to keep these. Now one of these, this one had been out overnight. I accidentally dug it up and didn't um, put it back in the ground so it died. This guy is one that I just dug up today. You can see, and this is small right now. This one will get about twice this size by the time we get to spring, but notice he's about the size of my thumb. I'll put my thumb up to him. I'm a pretty big guy, so I'm 6'2", and uh, 190 to 200 pounds, depending on the day. <laughs> that guy, it would make for a decent amount of nutrition. So just talking about macronutrients, got a lot of fats, a lot of proteins, very little carbohydrate in an insect, but you don't want those mandibles to get you. So that gives you a rough idea. What you would do, since this one's already dead, I'll show you, is you'll squeeze and squeeze out some of that contents out of the intestines, get all that out. And then it's the skin where you're gonna have a lot of the fat. You notice these hairs on the outside of it. So you wanna cook it and cook those off. You won't have a problem with that on June beetle grubs, but these rhino beetles get all the stuff out of the intestines to kind of squeeze that out. And you're gonna cook this outer flesh. That's the only way I can really eat them. I can't eat anything gooey like that unless it's small enough. Now, if I was gonna eat a June beetle, I would take the head off so it couldn't bite me and swallow it like a pill. I've done that before. I actually did that on uh, Neck and Afraid. But um, I'm gonna put this guy back in the garden. The only reason I use this one as an example is because it was already dead. But squeeze out all the dirt and all the contents out, wash it off and then cook it, roast it, it'll get crunchy, and then it's a lot more edible. And it kind of tastes like um, fried pig skin. 